What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we have another very, very fancy gun from Wilson Combat. This one is the SFT-9. It is a double stack 9mm, and it is an absolute beauty. Three quick things before we get into this gun. Like I said, it's a double stack 9mm, so technically, I guess it's a 2011, but I still call this a 19 uh, 1911. It feels like a 1911, it looks like a 1911, and I don't know, I call it a 1911, you call it whatever you want. Uh, second thing I want to point out is when you buy a gun from Wilson Combat, you can really, really customize as you would expect from a gun this price, and have it custom built the way you want. So depending on the model you get, you, get, you can customize the grip, the trigger, the sights, the safety, if you want a rail, you can do that, if you want an optics cut, and yes, you do want an optics cut. There's a bunch of different ways you can customize it. The third thing I have for you, this here is the four inch, four and a quarter, four, whatever. It's also available in three and a quarter and five inch if you want different sizes, you can get it. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom as always. Start with the magazines. They hold 15 rounds of nine millimeter, which is great because I love the way 1911 shoot. I just don't love the capacity and that's one of the things that drew me to this gun. Uh, they're made in Italy, they're made by Mekar and flawless, no issues with them. And I'm gonna, I want to point out with uh, any high-end gun, like any high-end Wilson Combat, it's the little details that you get. For example, I'm at the uh, at the range loading different magazines. I had an HK Mag, Walther, Wilson Combat, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, when you're loading this one, it didn't hurt my delicate little hands like some of the other ones did. The corners here are rounded. It's just those little things that, I don't know, that I appreciate. Uh, the grip is great the grip is absolutely beautiful has their track texture is what they call it um, aesthetically it's beautiful it looks really really good the front and the back strap are a little more aggressive which is want what you want when you're shooting a little bit more aggressive it's made from one piece aluminum and uh, I, I, I have nothing bad to say about the grip I think the grip is just absolutely perfect the mag release is good as well I don't have many cons on this gun so if you're expecting bad then bad things for me to say I don't have much to say, but the mag release, good spot, good location, good texture, very 1911-esque, shoots those magazines freely, and uh, yeah, no complaints there. Now, the trigger is one of the nicest things about this gun. Again, I would expect it to have a great trigger. It's a Wilson Combat, it's an expensive gun, and I was not disappointed. You have pretty much zero take up. I don't know, uh, a tenth of a mil, a tiny, tiny bit of take up. You have a very solid wall, which I appreciate. I like to come up to that wall and then break that shot. It's clean, it's crisp, it's great. Your reset is very, very little, if not nothing. It is an adjustable trigger between three and a half and four and a half pounds. And again, one of the many things you can upgrade from Wilson is the trigger if you want something a little different, a little nicer, whatever. All right, we're gonna take a 10 second break. I want to allow you to get up close and personal with this trigger and see it and smell it and touch it and feel it and hear it. And I'll be back in 10 seconds. Sliding on up to the rail, this particular one does not have a 1913 standard rail, but again, one of the many things you can change and customize on the gun is add a rail. And if I was gonna order one, I would absolutely have a rail, because I do like to carry a gun with a light and an optic, but that is just my opinion. Uh, the safety is good to go. It's very tactile, audible, good shape, good size. It's great. They call it a bulletproof safety. That's their marketing term for it. They have bulletproof safeties and bulletproof slide release and bulletproof trigger and all that good stuff. But the, the safety is great. If you want to get an AMB one again, you can customize and get that AMB safety if you want. Another thing you can customize is the size of the safety. If you want a larger one, if you want a smaller concealed carry type safety, that's again, some of the beauty of it, how you can can uh, customize it to whatever you want. Now the slide stop, slide release, whatever you call it, I don't care, I'm not arguing about it. It's very 1911-esque, you're not really gonna be able to reach it with the thumb on your right hand. So when you do those magazine releases, most people are gonna put the magazine in and either come over the top or use their thumb on that slide release if you're like me, that's how I do it. I find it a little faster and a little more comfortable. And I don't wanna hear it that you shouldn't do that on a 1911, that is just how I choose to do it. The slide here is a stainless steel slide. It's kind of like a tri-top slide, like a lot of Wilson Combat. It's not quite as angled, a little bit more rounded, but it does have that, that, that curve, that angle to it that a lot of Wilson Combats have. I wish you could come feel this. I wish you could come through the camera and feel this because it is buttery smooth, exactly what you would expect from a high-end handgun. 
it feels, feels great. If you had the chance to feel one of these, you would understand why they cost north of $3,000. The serrations look good. They're very aggressive, very effective, whether you run the gun from the front or the back, however you choose to do it. Uh, it will work no problem. The finish on it is a black DLC finish and both the outside of the slide and the inside of the slide looks really, really good, clean. Again, exactly what you would expect from a Wilson Combat. Sights, again, you have a couple different options for customizing. I, seem, I feel like I'm mentioning that in every single feature, but this one here is a front fiber optic, very, very bright red. I picked it up extremely well. It, uh, I definitely shot this gun faster and more accurate than most uh, for sure and the sights are dovetailed so if these aren't your jam uh, and you're not customizing it for Wilson Combat you can easily change these out. The rear sight has serrations, the back of the slide has serrations, the top of the slide has serrations. It's supposed to cut down glare. I have no idea if it actually does that. So I'm going to take the gun apart. It's pretty much the same as most 1911s, so it's not very hard. There's a lot of good videos out there, but I do want to talk a little bit about the barrel and I feel the need to take it apart, even though it's going to be filthy. Right behind the takedown, uh, the, on the spot on the uh, slide where the uh, slide stop uh, integrates, where it holds, man, I can't use words today. There's a little tiny cutout right behind that. And if you push on the slide stop, slide release, it comes right out. Now with the slide, I would highly recommend you hold under the slide with most 1911s because most of them are not captured recoil springs and <laughs> that one almost went flying. I'm sure I'm not the only one who had a uh, recoil spring and a little guide rod there go flying on a 1911. After that, there's a little plug that holds the spring in place. We're going to rotate the bushing out of here. It is a match grade bushing and a match grade barrel. Then we will slide out the very dirty barrel. Get out of there. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. So the couple things I want to point out about the barrel is if you were going to design a barrel with every single, you know, whiz bang feature possibly, this pretty much has it. It's a stainless steel barrel, has a reverse crown. Um, they give you a one and a half inch guarantee at 25 yards, which means it's going to be more accurate than 99% of the people out there. It even has a fluted chamber, which helps uh, uh, extraction be more reliable with extraction as well. So. You know, I, I, you can't complain. It's definitely one of the nicer uh, barrels out there on the market, no doubt. All right, you can take a look at the dimensions. Uh, what I want to do here is don't, I'm not crazy, I swear. I want to, uh, it's a little bit bigger than a Glock 19 and a little bit shorter than a Glock 17. No, I'm not comparing a Wilson Combat to a, a, to a Glock. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I'm not a completely an idiot. Uh, but most people know the size of a Glock 19 and a Glock 17. So if I say it's a little tiny bit bigger, longer than a 19, a little tiny bit shorter than a 17, at least most people out there will know the size of the gun and understand what I'm saying. Again, these things start at $3,000. They're not cheap, they're not for everyone, I get it. But if you have the, um, the means and the disposable income to afford a gun like this, then no doubt this is an absolute beautiful gun and it's definitely worth the money if you can afford it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the testing. I'm happy I don't have anyone keeping track of how many rounds I shoot, like an accountant or anything, because most guns I try to get to 500 rounds. Ammo's expensive. I can get to 500 rounds, I'm happy. Um, every time I brought this to the range, I'm like, oh, I'll put a box through the Wilson. Two, three, four, five boxes later, I went, oh crap, I shot a lot more than I intended to. And I shot over a thousand rounds with this gun and ah, that was not my intentions, but it shoots really, really nice. And once I started shooting it, I really did not want to stop. So we did all types of drills with all different types of ammo. I mean, I shot a wide variety of ammo and a very wide variety of drills. So for example, we shot some 95, uh, 95 grain Lehigh defense ammo, normal 124 ball, uh, 147 grain um, full uh, uh, hollow points and, and everything in between. So a very wide variety of ammo. And again, shot a lot of different types of drills. Uh, I have this very nice uh, craft holster, leather holster, outside the waistband holster, and pretty much every time I went to the range, I just put that holster on and I wore this to the range and I shot a whole bunch. So a bunch of concealed carry type drills, obviously a lot of hit and steel, plinking steel, because that's what I do when I go to the range. My range is blessed with lots of steel and I shot the steel a whole bunch. Um, Mozambique drills, build drills, you name it. We've done a bunch of different drills at the range lately. And uh, 
I pretty much shot them all with this gun. And uh, through the uh, little over a thousand rounds, I had zero malfunctions, zero issues, zero failure to feed, zero failure to fires. I mean, it was absolutely flawless. I did not clean it at all in those thousand rounds as well. Um, I lubed it up when I got it and then I just started shooting and I had zero issues whatsoever. So through all of that ridiculous testing, I shot it way too much. These are the pros and the cons that I have. The biggest pro for me is that it is a double stack 1911 whatever 9mm. I love the way 1911 shoot, I just don't love the 7, 8, 9 round capacity, whatever that particular 9mm has, so having 15 plus 1 is absolutely great. Uh, it has a great trigger. Obviously it's made in the States at this price. It has a lifetime warranty. The fit and finish is something I probably didn't touch on enough. If you get to feel this, excuse me, if you get to feel this gun, it just feels, you can tell they're hand fit. They're beautiful guns, beautiful barrels, beautiful triggers. Uh, I have to mention the grip. I'm not gonna mention every single feature, but I have to mention the grip. The grip is beautiful. Uh, the front and back is more aggressive and it looks and feels like a single stack gun. Even a couple of my buddies who saw it thought it was a single stack gun, not a double stack gun looking at it because that grip is, is so small. Uh, the last thing I wanna mention is how you can customize it. You really can do so much between, I wanna, I wanna remove the Wilson Combat logo, I want this sights, this optic, whatever. All the customization you can do is really, really good. As far as cons, I don't really have a con. If I was gonna build this gun, yes, I'd throw a rail on an optic on here. That's just my opinion. It's not a con though, because it's good that you can customize and get exactly the gun you want. These are not cheap. If I'm gonna spend this much money on a gun, one, it better be really nice, which it is, and two, I better get exactly what I want. The color, the sights, the optic, every single thing I want, it better be perfect. Um, I know some folks are gonna say the price is a con. I don't view it that way. These guns are not for everyone. The average person, you know, carries a Glock or a SIG like me, and, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's a lot of people out there that have the disposable income that want something a little bit nicer, and that's where a gun like this will fit that role. Not for everyone, uh, definitely very, very nice. Actually, you know something? Now that I'm thinking, I do kind of have a con. Uh, the bag is beautiful, I forgot to mention the bag. All Wilson Combat bags are great. Gives you spot to put the magazines. Nice spot for the gun, nice bag, nice storage. The bag is great. But it only comes with two magazines. While the magazines are great, they're beautiful, they're nice. A $3,000 gun, I would, I wish it came with three magazines. If I was gonna nitpick something, that would be the one thing I would have to nitpick, but overall, it's a beautiful gun. I love it. I would absolutely rock it and carry it every single day if I could. Uh, I do need to thank Wilson Combat. Uh, they actually loaned me this gun for the review, which blew my mind that they would support a small channel like this. I've reviewed four or five other Wilson Combat products and they've all been nice. I've liked them all, they've all been great. Wilson Combat saw some of those reviews and asked if uh, they could support the channel and send me something, which was absolutely amazing of them. So thank you to them. And loaning me a gun does not buy my opinion. I don't care if I say something Wilson Combat doesn't like, so be it. I will always tell you guys the pros, cons, as honestly as I possibly can. And it's a beautiful gun. What am I gonna say? I can't say anything bad about it. All right, we have some swag. If you wanna support the channel, uh, T-shirts, patches, links down in the video description. The support is great. Uh, I will put some affiliate links down there as well. I don't know if anyone sells this gun, but if they do, I'll put those links down there. Hopefully I can find you a decent deal. I personally would probably rather custom build one and get it exactly how I want from the Wilson Combat website, but if you don't want to wait for that, I'll put those links down there. More important, thank you guys for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you do any of those things, they definitely help me out and I definitely appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.